Hello there, Erin Bradley coming to you here from a campground in the Clearwater, Florida area. And um, I wanted to share something with you guys today that I heard the other day while I was doing a podcast interview that will be released in the coming weeks. Um, I was interviewing a gal named Carrie Briner, who is a business coach and um, has been in real estate for over 20 years. And she's with Adam Hergen Rather's coaching organization. If you haven't seen or listen to um, the interview with Adam Hergen Rather on the Pursuing Freedom podcast, I would highly recommend it. Um, he also has a podcast called Business Meets Spirituality, which I am obsessed with. Um, but anyhow, I just feel very philosophically aligned with their approach to doing business and helping others um, to grow your business in a way that's you know easy and authentic and value adding and all the good stuff. So anyhow, while I was talking with her, she said something that really struck me and I thought I would share it here. Um, and hope that you get to tune into the podcast when it's released. But what she said was that um, when you find yourselves on a hamster wheel with your business, where you're feeling like the business is either not growing at the speed that you want it to, to and you feel like you're spinning wheels, um, or maybe the business is very successful and it's just simply sucking the life out of you and you're burning out. She said that for a long time, she blamed the business. And in reality, it's it's ourselves that we need to blame, meaning that um, our actions are a reflection of our priorities. And so when we are running our business without any systems in place, without any boundaries, without any schedule or time blocking or game plan, um, then we tend to find ourselves running around like chickens with our head cut off, um, not really sure what's working or what's not working with, you know, no systems in place to track our progress or measure the results or anything like that. And as a result, we feel ourselves um, compelled to be overconnected, you know, plugged in 24-7, overcommitted, etc. And in reality, we're blaming the business for the way it's running our lives when in reality we need to blame ourselves because our actions are a reflection of our priorities. So what does it mean if we're working all the time or we're checking our phone 24 seven at every single red light and in line for a cup of coffee and while I'm watching TV and everything else, or when I'm having a conversation with somebody, I'm looking at my phone. So what is that saying? What are those actions saying? What am I actually prioritizing? So I'm going to be offering a free masterclass on Thursday, February 17th at 1030 Mountain Time, 1230 Eastern Time. And if you haven't already subscribed to the newsletter on pursuingfreedom.com or download some of the resources there and get yourself on the email list, um, there will be registration links coming in the coming weeks here um, because I am so inspired by this idea um, that Carrie shared that our actions are a reflection of our priorities. So how do we get clear on what really matters to us and then create a simple game plan that results in predictable, measurable growth in our business without the trade-off of a happiness, energy, ability to be present with our loved ones. So um, I am very passionate about helping you simplify success and enjoy it um, and to know where your business is going, to expect it, and then to plan for it. So I hope that you can make it to the free masterclass on February 17th. Mark your calendar, save the date. There'll be more information coming. Um, And as always, reach out to me with questions or concerns. But I challenge you to ask yourself, are you blaming the business for your busyness? Or are your actions simply a reflection of your priorities and that needs to be analyzed, evaluated, examined, and potentially reorganized? Um, As always, I'm here for you. I appreciate you. I hope you're having an awesome day and I'll see you next time.